Should we have a Jewish state? No. No. Why not? Well, uh, the question is why yes. Let me answer. Jews have lived. Jews, Jews by definition, and this is a whole other conversation. Jews by definition are a Jewish minority that existed in all other countries around the world for, for, you know, for since Judaism existed, since Judaism was created. Now, I don't know if you've heard of uh, the Rabbi Sadia Gaon. He was a very famous uh, rabbi from the 12th century. And he wrote, and and Jews quote him because he was one of the greatest thinkers, the greatest uh, rabbis uh, in Judaism period. He said, the people of Israel are united by their faith, their Jewish law. That's it. That's why you can have a Polish Jew and a Yemeni Jew. They don't look alike. They don't speak alike. They don't have the same culture. They don't eat the same food, but they follow the yeah. same I, law. I'm Yisrael instead of Eretz Yisrael. I'm right? Yisrael. The people of Israel instead yeah. of the land of Israel. That's yeah. yeah that's that's a, I've heard that view and a lot. So, and this is this is the view of Judaism now. The the Zionist idea that Jews are a nation like other nations. That Jew, that the Bible or the Old Testament. Well, Jews is are somehow, an ethnic group, right? They are an no, ethnic. No, we're not. You, don't you think and so? I are the same ethnic group. If you as, walk as down Yemenis, the street, if you if, if you get if you go get a DNA test, it will. It, for I me, did, and I'm an Ashkenazi Jew. 110%. So how do they tell? I'm not Yemeni. But how do they tell you're an Ashkenazi Jew? It's not through your religion. It's through your ethnicity. It's through it's well the DNA whatever the DNA. I, I'm not going to get into that but the point is wait you know you hold on hold on hold on Ashkenazi Ashkenazi Jews is one thing Yemeni Jews sure. Sure is another thing Iraqi but Ashkenazi Jews is another Jew thing. is an ethnicity there's no way around it well there's some genetic I suppose there's some genetic stuff again I, I suppose there's some genetic stuff come yeah. on Mika but why but, can't so let's say it is so what's <laughs> I got to do with a Jewish state and what's I got to do with I don't Israel? know but 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 what's it's like, got to do but, with Jewish state because we have to agree on to the individual points to to form a I have to. To form a thought, because if we blow off the individual points, we can form whatever conclusion we want. We have to start somewhere. So if we establish that, yeah, the DNA test can salmon Ashkenazi Jews, let's just let's just have yes, that. But that's, but we can, can put have, it over but, here but and then Ash- come back to okay, it. Okay, so so there's a thing that's called Ashkenazi Jew, but that but I I, I we, we we look nothing, we speak nothing, we eat nothing, we do nothing like Jews in Yemen or Jews in Morocco or Jews in other places. But there is but the, there is a DNA component that you have unfortunately had to. Perhaps state, yes, yes, state. Be- yes. So okay, so there's okay. something. There's something there. Okay, what's that got to do with having a Jewish because, state? Because well, because I think to to make the argument for an ethno national state, which by the way, like so many countries are ethno national. And states. I don't really know. I, and again, I I to destroy, I, I know yeah. I keep asking this. I don't know why it even matters whether or not Jews need to have a state. Their Jews yeah. have a state right now, or yeah. Israel, Zionists have a state. Many Jews have always rejected this idea, and they still do. But Zionists have a state right now, and look what it's look what it's done. Let's talk about that. But, but and, so, look, and look what it's done, and look what it the, the result of that state yeah. has been. And we cannot deny what well, we cannot deny that there is as a result of the Zionist movement's uh, you know actions in Palestine, there is now this new thing called Israelis. Mm-hmm. Israelis were like the whites in South Africa. We're we're not from there. We're settlers. We're colonizers. But now that's the new landscape of Palestine. Is that you've got. You know, millions of people are now Israelis. They've got the, they speak a language, they have a culture, and so on. Some of them were from there. So, some of them were from so that very, land, right? Very, very few, very, very few. And so some of them bought land there. Very, some of them very immigrated. Few. Very, very. I few. mean, there was a whole. Very, very. I could also. Few. You don't very, want. Very, you don't want. Few. I mean, I know you. I. I don't want to make this argument because I think it's a semantic argument. But you and I know that. I'm hesitating. The word the 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 you know Palestine Palestinian, is also. I'm not saying that the Palestine people are a new people. But I think you and I know that the, the land has morphed, right? They didn't call themselves Palestinian years and years ago when they were in the Ottoman Empire. So people that have lived, did. what did they call themselves? Of course they did. Palestine was look at look at maps going back. I don't know to, as, as far back as you want. You're going to see the country called Palestine. Of course they called themselves Palestinians. But the point is, again, that's not really. I, I, th- I think I think what's important is to realize that today the landscape of Palestine is made of. A majority of Palestinians who are the natives of the country, and an almost, uh, you know, slightly less than uh, slightly less than half a uh, population of Israelis who are, by and large, settlers. By and large, these are settlers and the children of settlers. You know, descendants of settlers. And the question is now, what is the best way for these people to live moving forward? An apartheid state that gives preferential treatment and privileges only to Israeli Jews has been tried for almost eight decades and it's been a complete failure. But is that it's because been a, Jew, but it's what, been what, catastrophic. But, but, but fundamentally, the I guess- The fact that they're so, Jewish is irrelevant. Good. So my question is, should there or could there be a Jewish state or is there something inherently wrong with that? I don't know. If they, if they, I, 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 I don't know that I can answer that. In Palestine, no. 
uh, at the expense of other people, definitely not. But uh, how do you deal with how do you deal with all the other countries that have come in? And I'm not saying like I'm not even taking a moral position here. I'm just saying that I don't like, know why I, Jews need a state. Jews live very well most of the time in most. Of so the let me that answer. Let, let me answer that question. Let me answer that question. So historical persecution, the Holocaust, the need for a safe haven, the global Jewish and diaspora. That's the, and this is the answer. This racist, violent, militant I, state I don't, is the answer. I don't. I don't to think that. that so here's my. So what is, in, so what is in, the answer to well, that? Well, in one sentence, what I want to say is that the Jews, and you know this better than I do, I think, because you know more about history than I do, the Jews have a long, long history of persecution that has spanned across time and space well, in like Spain and Europe. I'm getting there. So the Jews have been persecuted and persecuted and persecuted, and there was the Holocaust, and they said, okay, maybe we can. We're an ethnicity. We're like you know, we're a wandering people that are part of not just a religion but an actual tribe we can debate that but there's a tribe wouldn't it be nice if we can get a state of our own and you ask why and i'm telling you why and the answer is because persecution the idea i don't know if we can argue about how it's worked in reality but the idea is to give them a safe haven so that they don't have another holocaust and we can again debate if that's a really realistic thing or not um but that's the does that add up for you as to why not at all not at all the, no. the response to the holocaust look the response to the holocaust is not a militant racist state. The response to all the is tolerance and education and humanity. And so, mm -hmm. and I think there's a good reason why the vast majority of Holocaust survivors never went to Palestine. They went back home, they came to America, they went to places where they thought there would be tolerance and, and, and so forth. So I think that, and many other ones that did go left because they couldn't stand it. So I think that's important. The other part, part is, you know, the early Zionist envisioned a small colony of European Jews. That didn't work out. Uh, and when they, eventually got their state after the Holocaust and so on, then they realized they're not going to get the European Jews, not even the Holocaust survivors. They're not going to get the rich Jews coming from America because they were not interested. And so they turned to the Arab Jews and started bringing them. And when they brought, I don't know if you saw uh, uh, Avi Schleim's book, his memoir about being an Arab Jew, and what happened when these people were brought from Arab countries and how they were treated and how it was blatantly open that because they're Arabs, they don't deserve a good education. They don't deserve opportunities for jobs. They don't deserve- There's racism in Israel. And for, yeah, so Zion, the Zionist, the entire Zionist enterprise is a racist enterprise. It's a Eurocentric racist enterprise. So, and when even when- Yeah, so let me, let me respond to all this. So the, I wanna talk about, we, you know, you're making statements about Israel being a, a colonial state. And I, I wanna, I really wanna talk about that. I also want to say that I, I want to concede as much as I can in this conversation. So I, I have no doubts that there's racism in Israeli society. I've, I've, I've said also that I don't appreciate the government currently with Netanyahu. I think they're very right wing. They're extreme. There's there's bad things going on in Israel. So I, 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 can, I can be a fan of, let's say, America and condemn America and say, I don't like the Iraq war. I've pushed you to do as much and to, even though you even though you you stand firmly with the Palestinian people, I don't think it would be a contradiction of your values to say, yeah, I don't like what some of the things, you know, Hamas, even if Hamas killed one civilian, you could say, oh, I don't like that one civilian. Now, I don't want to push you to do that. I tried before, but I, I do think concessions- I don't want to see any civilians die ever. So, but why, like, I but can we can't, concede, but, Israel, if, if, but if, we my, can't, if my but, team does something wrong, but whether, listen, whether it's America, no, whether it's Palestine- No, it's not the same thing. How about this? If I'm pro, let, let's say I'm pro-Palestine now. You can't, so, oh, you cannot 